Hi, my name is Ian Murphy. I'm the lead investigator for the Paranormal Research Association in Boston. Welcome to Paracast. What Paracast is, it's a series of paranormal classes on the equipment that we use here in the PRAB and is used in general in the paranormal community. We hope these will be informative, fun, and you'll learn a bit about the science of paranormal research and how we do our jobs. Every week, we'll take on a different subject from our scientific aspect and show you the equipment we use and how we use it. This week, we're going to be looking at measuring infrasound and why we measure infrasound. What infrasound is, it's very, very low sound that you cannot pick up with your ears, but your body picks up itself. For instance, from the 4 to 10 um, hertz range, you might have abdominal pains. You might have chest pains within 5 to 7 hertz. And your eye will actually resonate, possibly causing you to see things between the 16 and 19 hertz range. Now, the human auditory range is between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz, which is 20,000 hertz. So we have a large range that we can listen to. However, there is below that 20 hertz range that we can't hear. And that is what can make you see things. First of all, we'll show you the equipment that we use and how we use it. This is the environmenter used by the PRAB. It has a number of different settings, including taking light, temperature, relative humidity, and sound. As you can see, it's continuously measuring the sound here on a big, easy to read LCD screen. One of the drawbacks about this um, environmenter itself is that it doesn't have a backlight, so therefore using it in the dark is a bit hard. But again, it is a very good piece of kit and it's recommended for any paranormal investigation as it has a lot of different features that can be used um, simultaneously. Now how does infrasound occur, you may wonder? Infrasound occurs both naturally and unnaturally. In the natural sense, wind going down, say, a, say through a castle, going down a corridor in a castle will create resonance off the walls which will be below the range that we can hear. Now, if it's below the range we can hear, but our body still picks up on it, it can cause us to see things, feel fear, feel dread, and various other um, psychological problems that go along with it. That's why a lot of the time ghosts are seen in castles or in abandoned buildings, because these areas are prone to having infrasound and will have wind running through them. Now, from a home point of view, air conditioners, ceiling fans, many types of electronics, if they're defective, can produce infrasound. And that's actually how it was discovered in the first place. In 1998, a computer science graduate was working in his lab and he noticed that um, he saw a ghost coming towards him. Now, he immediately ran away, as of course you would, wondering what was going on. He came back to his lab later on and looked around and found nothing. The next day he came in and as he was a fencing student he was setting his foil up for a tournament he had the next day. He noticed that the bottom of his foil was resonating. Now he didn't know what was causing this so he turned on his oscilloscope to see what sound was around and behold he found that the lab was flooded with between 16 and 19 hertz sound that he couldn't hear but he could certainly feel. It turned out to be a broken air conditioner. And when he was able to fix the air conditioner, the ghost went away. So you see, there are natural scientific explanations for a lot of the things we see in here. If you want to read more about infrasound and infrasonics, please go to the website www.praofb.org and go into the education se setting and get PRAB C1819, which is the article in infrasound. Thanks for watching. I don't see.